There are some devices in Reason that generate MIDI without you needing to put any data into the sequencer. We'll talk about these a bit more in the instrument and effects sections, but here's a little quick look at what they do. Here we've got a subtractor selected and we're going to create, let's say, a matrix pattern sequencer. And if you press tab to spin the rack around, you'll see that the matrix has connected its control voltage outputs to the control voltage inputs on the subtractor synth. And what control voltage is, it's a way of sending signal that isn't sound or MIDI notes necessarily generated from the sequencer, but still controlling parameters in other modules. So if I press the tab key, spin back around and press the run key to play our matrix, we should get some sound. And if I enter notes, That's just like a more old school way of sequencing MIDI in Reason. It's kind of like the kind of sequencers you used to get on old groove boxes. If you decide that you want to transfer that data into the sequencer, you can make sure the matrix is selected and then choose Edit, Copy Pattern to Track. And when you do that, the MIDI data from the matrix is placed into the sequencer. And because of the way the sequencer works, that's all nicely quantized already. You don't have to quantize that, although you can if you want to change the feel of it, but it's basically nice and even. You can see also that the velocity, because we didn't input any velocity, is completely equal. So that's one of the other ways you can use MIDI in Reason. We'll get into that in a lot more detail in the dedicated section about Reason's instruments and effects.